Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing my spring evening skincare routine, which I'd actually already filmed, and I went to edit and upload it, and I'd accidentally deleted it. So I'm doing it again. So it's gonna be up quite late for spring, but I want to do a morning and evening skincare routine and makeup routine for every season, because my um, routines do change quite often. So that would be nice to share. So I just got back from the gym, I have warm makeup today. I probably should have removed it before I got to the gym, but I'm a bit lazy. I'm basically going to remove my makeup with the Camel Cleansing Butter from The Body Shop. This is one of my favourite products from The Body Shop, if not my favourite. Um, it's just so quick, easy and gentle and it removes even the toughest of makeup so effortlessly. Um, so I'm just going to pop a little bit on my hands and rub it over mostly my eyes where i've been wearing mascara because i find that is usually the most difficult part of my makeup to remove so i'm then just gonna wipe it off a little bit using a wet flannel like that and then i'm going to do a double cleanse this evening and um, usually on my days off when i've got a bit more time and i've been wearing more makeup then i will do a double cleanse so i'm firstly going in with the joba joba bead cleanser from the joba joba company this is one of my favorite cleansers to use at the moment because the beads um, just make the cleanser a really nice texture it's very exfoliating it's still gentle but it just makes my skin feel so so clean and smooth after using it so I'm just going to pop that on all of my face and my neck as well. So on the packaging it says deeply cleanses, non-drying and softens. Here's my first cleanse done. Second cleanse, I'm going in with the Cetaphil Hydrating Foaming Cream Cleanser. This is again one of my favourites. I just think it makes my skin feel so soft and hydrated so i would really recommend if you've got dry and sensitive skin you need a small amount and it forms up on the skin like so to use this as a second cleanse because obviously this is more hydrating and a little bit more gentle so it's nice to use after using that textured exfoliating cleanser with flannel and again just gonna wipe that all off after cleansing my skin i always go in with a toner and the one that i'm loving at the moment is the pixie glow tonic mine actually has my name on it's personalized which i find very cute and it's got a little pump applicator which is just really handy because of the size of the bottle so i'm just going to pop that on a little cotton round and then just swipe that over my face and it's just going to remove any excess cleanser, makeup impurities, anything that's left on your skin after cleansing, which hopefully shouldn't be a lot when you've <laughs> double cleansed, but I do sometimes miss spots, especially round here, like near my ears and sometimes my neck. And I'll just quickly go over my eyelashes as well. And that is what it looks like, which is quite a lot really, isn't it? Okay, so I'm now just going to let my face dry a little bit before I move on to the next step. So next I'm going to use an eye cream. And this is the one that I've been using at the moment, which is from the Inky List. It's the Caffeine Eye Cream, which helps to reduce the appearance of tired eyes, which I definitely have. I've always had dark circles, like I sleep fine. I feel like my diet's okay. Um, so I really don't know why I've got dark circles, but probably one of the things I'm more self-conscious about face-wise, but but yeah, it's just trial and error with eye creams, I think. But I find it really gentle. I have quite sensitive skin and it's around my eyes, so often products will make my skin around my eyes sting, but this doesn't. On to a serum. I've got the Scientia Green Supreme CBD Veggie Tox Smoothie Serum, which energizes, brightens, and protects. And this is one of my favorite products to use at the moment. And I would say it's probably one of my favorite products ever because it's honestly just dreamy it gives you that glass skin effect look and honestly it's just so lightweight it's like a gel texture but it also makes your skin just so soft and hydrated and um, i definitely think i could get away with not using a moisturizer because it's so moisturizing but yeah i just love how it makes my skin feel and look and it smells amazing like really fruity 
recommend that. And the last product I'm going to use is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturiser. And I'm just going to use a little tiny bit of this because, as I said, my skin is already pretty hydrated. So this, again, is like a really nice gel creamy texture. So really lightweight and sinks into the skin really quick and easy. I'm just going to rub that in. And that is my skin ready for bed. So that's my evening skincare routine. I will do another one in summer. Like I said, my routines do often change up depending on the season because obviously like winter time, my skin's a little bit more dry. In summer, I usually want something a little bit more lightweight and refreshing. Um, so I hope you found that interesting. Do let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see.